It's been two days, boys. I am sorry that we've been gone, but we are back now. And this is gonna be a very exciting episode because Calvin finally got his Mark V Super back. If you guys don't remember, we installed the big turbo on his car and I went to Delicious Tuning to get tuned. Because of all this hecticness going on in the world right now, it got kind of delayed a little bit. But the car is back and unfortunately, Delicious Tuning is shut down for the next couple weeks until all the dust settles with this virus. But this car made 450 wheel horsepower. I wish we had dyno footage. 450, 450, 450. 450. 450 50 foot pounds of torque as well. Yeah. So we don't have any video footage of the car on the dyno for that. I'm sorry. We weren't able to get all that, but you're gonna have to take our word on it. The car is 450 wheel horsepower, so what? Over 500 of the crank, something like oh, that. Man. Which makes this interesting because, boys, C8. the C8. Actually, I saw some people do some dyno videos already. The car is dynoing at like 460 wheel. <laughs> this is 450 wheel. <laughs> DCT. This is, has an automatic. Both rear wheel drive. I don't know which car is lighter, but they're probably pretty similar. No, you know what? The transmission acts a little weird. She acts a little, she's not happy. Okay. So we're gonna see. Before we put these two cars to the test, I need to feel a little rip. I need to feel what the butt dyno feels like. This is the fastest car you've ever driven too. Yeah, it is, 100% is. That's not bad. So oh, he's spicy. still on 91. They're still figuring out the E85. So just on 91, 450. So on E85, you could probably assume it's gonna hit over that 500 mark, but they're having that weird issue with the transmission. Ready? I, well, because you I don't felt, even you feel it. Felt that dip, like so. When I tripped from second to uh, third, it just kind of. Essentially, what I was told is that everyone that's been trying to tune this car, trying to get it to high horsepower, they're having a problem with the transmission. You can get more horsepower out of the engine, but the transmission has a torque limiter. What I heard was a physical torque limiter, so it's like it's really bad. I don't know much of anything, but he told me that reducing boost increased horsepower. Rather than doing like a like a lower gear, like do a roll from like third or something. Let's see how that feels. and we'll see who wins here. Put this thing in track mode. I have a GoPro facing us, so if we decide to walk away a little bit, we'll get it on cam. It's gonna be interesting. All right, we're placing this cam right here because we think the Corvette's gonna walk away from the car. So we're gonna do some pulls, some rolls. We'll see what happens. So I'm gonna roll on the right, Calvin's gonna roll on the left. Dude, that thing is, oh is so loud oh my god it makes our car sound so quiet I'm gonna let Calvin call the rolls too because we think that I have a slight advantage oh he just got walked jump too but we were on a slight turn so maybe that has something to do with it. <laughs> Calvin's rage quitting inside his car. I even let off a few times on that pull and we, we, we still got him. Yeah the 
Corvette's faster. footage when we're getting up to speed you just see my car like whoop, okay like that yeah and there were a few times where when I noticed that even when you were calling it and we would go I would just get you off the jump even like, like letting you be in control yeah. so after the second half I started like letting you get the jump waiting like a half second like letting you get momentum yeah. and then I go and the moment yeah. you go to shift like I just I yeah. keep going it just whoop. It's really interesting because this car is 60 grand and that car, 60 grand base, assuming you don't do the Z51, which is just brakes, that's not even power. You get more power out of that car. And this is tuned and a bigger turbo. Yeah. And it's not even necessarily that the motor is better, but the real difference yeah. is the trans. The transmission. Unless someone figures out how to make this trans better, the DCT just makes up for everything. Yeah. Even like it, it's, that's just a winning formula. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like if I if I shift just before, to those who have super, the orange mark, right before red line, if I shift before that, TJ walks away. But if I shift, there's a window in there that I have to hit, but I don't know what it is. But if I go a little forward, the card's like, oh, no, no throttle, and then it goes. So someone, someone break. Crack this transmission, please. Wow, I'll give it to her. She's quick. She's quick. Yeah, when you're when you're in the higher gears, you run away. You like later. There ain't no replacement like displacement. So unfortunately, today's video kind of came to a halt. Uh, for those who don't live in California or who are not aware, California actually went into the state of emergency to shelter in, which essentially means. Everything in California statewide is currently on lockdown until further notice. So most stores are not open anymore and the only stores and only jobs that you are able to go to and you're allowed to leave your house are like a certain specific like set of rules or set jobs, I guess. Um, thankfully, automotive is one of those categories that you are allowed to still go to work and technically we are automotive, we work on cars, that is what we do. So what this like really means and why I'm telling you guys this is there are a lot of plans that we had um, planned to do with the C8 and all the stuff that unfortunately might get pushed back um, and we're not sure how long that will be, how long California is gonna be in this state of emergency with all the virus and stuff going around. Videos are gonna be coming and going as fast as I can make them. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to keep the daily upload going. As you guys have noticed, the past two days there have been no videos and that's just kind of because it's been really hard to work with all the new parts and stuff we have coming in because no one is able to get them to us because everyone's like closed down. So um, just want to put you guys on notice or we're gonna, I'm gonna be doing the best that I can to get videos out. Um, and we might even have some like in-house videos coming or something if we're not able to do stuff. So I don't quite know, I'm not too worried. So for those that are watching, Live in California, I wouldn't be too worried either. Just remember to stay healthy, wash your hands, and just wait it out. That's the best that we can do right now. And, and who knows, it might not be too much longer before the rest of the nation is on the same entire lockdown as we are. You never know. But that being said, I wanna say thank you guys for watching today's video. I, I appreciate it. And if you're not already, follow all my social medias that come up on the end screen of this video to stay up to date with everything that's going on because the videos might not be the place where I'm updating you guys if we're not making videos. Who knows? Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Peace out and keep moving forward.